Welcome back to Unsung Hero with Derek Rose, Trio Michael Rose, and this is another video we're going to be doing. So we're going to be doing this game. Um, I'm not sure what other games we're going to be playing afterward. We'll see after this game is over, but this game I'm going to be guarding Gilbert Arenas, No Chill Gil. So interested to see how that goes, but um. Let's get it. All right, so we're about to get the game going. We got me as Derrick Rose. We got Michael Jordan. We got Scottie Pippen. We have DeMar DeRozan. And we have Artis Gilmore. Kind of iffy about... uh Oh, shoot. Ready? He's starting shooting threes. Oh, that's money. That's money, baby. Go, Derrick. Don't. You ain't gonna mess with the speed of Derrick Rose, bro. Chill, Gilbert. All right. And one. Let's go. Yeah, like I was saying, though, I'm kind of iffy about DeMar DeRozan guarding Alvin Hayes. He should really be playing small. He should be playing power forward. And Pippen should be playing, I mean, small forward. He should be playing small forward, and Pippen should be playing power forward. Nice block, Ansel. I mean, not Ansel, excuse me, Gilmore. <laughs> they both got afros, but he's guarding Ansel. Fun fact, in high school when I played football, my, my nickname was A-Train. But it wasn't... A nickname I got from basketball is a nickname I got from football. I didn't know until I got older that that was all Artis Gilmore's nickname, A Train. As far as football, I don't know anybody nicknamed A Train. Should definitely research that though. I steal Pippin. Push it. Push it to Jordan. Jordan. Missing. Goes back up. Gets fouled. Okay. All right. Guaranteed to get two points here. Man, you're only averaging two points, Jordan. That's not like you. We need to get you scoring. Wow, that was a nice shot. That was completely heavily tested. And I thought you really was about to miss that. But, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Where were you going, bro? Give me that man a satellite dish, bro. He he lost the coordinates. He's like barely getting by me, bro. I should have I should have been a block. Alright. Uh they're only down five, but you know, it's about to be even more. My time oh yo hit me. I'm not taking that three. You can give me as much space as you want. I'm still a D plus at three, bro. I'm not taking it. <laughs> there we go, Gilmore. Gilmore cleaning up my mess. Like big as we're supposed to do. Maybe I shouldn't have guard him so fat so close. I should be like in between the three point line and his body. So I'll show you how that works in a minute. But usually when you have somebody good at three, you got to guard them in the middle spot so that you're blocking the three and you're blocking their driving lane. So I would guard him like right here. So it forces him to drive and he doesn't really shoot. And that's like smart basketball. That's a block. Or maybe not. See, he didn't, he didn't want to drive. He didn't want to shoot that time because all he wants to do is shoot. So if I force him to drive, he's not going to do anything. Let's go, Pippen. Let's go. That's money. That's money because that was a factual statement. All right, I'm doing it again. Okay, so guard him back here. I force him to do something. He did not want to do anything. Do not let him get the pass to unsell. I don't know how he got that pass off. I shouldn't have fouled him, too. But that was bad by me. Ooh, another behind the back. And we get the bucket this time. Let's go. I'm trying to get some pull-up jumpers this game. 
Uh, you know that's what Derrick Rose is known for. I'm going to try and get space first. Well, if any of you are wondering why I haven't gotten injured yet, it's because this is pre-injury Derrick Rose. This is before he got became injury prone. This is MVP Rose. MVP Rose played about... I think he played 81 games. I don't think he played 82 games, but... um, He played every single game that year, for the most part. Oh, shoot. And he was healthy, so... That was 2011 when he won the MVP, and 2012 is when he got his injury, when he got his first major injury. Okay, we're only up by eight. As I get out of the game, we come back in for the second quarter. I have 10 points so far. Solid first quarter. For most people, that's a average first quarter. Let's dunk by Derrick Rose right there, bro. Ratchet, bro. I like it. It's classic Derrick Rose right there. That's all. What? I should have added Joe Kim Noah to this team since him and Derek Rose have so much chemistry. But I don't know. I decided not to. I hope diehard Chicago fans are not looking at this like, yo, bro, you just completely did us dirty because other than Artis Gilmore. But Joachim Noah was like Joachim Noah was like the best center we ever had since he was an All Star. I'm pretty sure Joachim Noah was an All Star. I don't think he he wasn't. I think he was. Oh, Michael Jordan with the jumper. Yeah, do something now, Gilbert. Do something now, Gilbert. No screens. That's what I thought. If you're wondering why Bradley Beal is wearing number twelve, it's because Karan Butler has number three. All right, we're gonna call for a play. Oh, they're giving me a three play. I, I don't shoot threes. I don't shoot threes. Oh, why did they give me a hook shot instead of a fade? I wanted a fade. I'm nearly shooting 50% from the field, which is believable. Um. That's believable. And why? Let's go. I'm always kind of weary about like how the media treats NBA players. Like sometimes to me, I've never been an NBA player, obviously, but like to me, Sometimes it's like the media treats the NBA players like animals. Like, yes, they're athletes. Yes, they could do amazing things and amazing feats. But at the end of the day, they're still human. Like, they have feelings and they have emotions. They feel stuff just like anybody else would feel stuff. Like, and sometimes, like, the media comes after, like, people's family members and stuff like that. And that's like, you got to have some boundaries. And if some people don't set those boundaries, then they're going to step all over it. And I feel like sometimes the media steps all over their boundaries. And some players just let it happen. I'm just, I'm just sitting there like... Like, at some point, like, you got to have... You got to show them that you have respect for yourself and you're not going to let them walk all over you. But um, that's just me. But I, I feel like, like low key, the media are bullies though. Like, as a kid, I got bullied. Like, there was a kid who was bigger than me, and like, he ended up bullying me because um, he was bigger than me, and he was like, and I was like a, I was scrawny in, in first, in like kindergarten or whatever. So like, I was easy to tease. I was an easy target. So he just saw me as an easy target, and he would just bother me all the time. But then, one day, while I was in that school, oh, I can't focus and uh, talk at the same time. Hold on, we we have to score on this possession. We'll continue the story. Ah, oh, it's a bad foul. 
You're not shooting that, bro. You're not shooting that. If he misses, I'm going to continue the story. Okay, he made it. Man, it's a six-point game now. Nah, we got to focus. We got to focus. All right, bro. Damn, we had nine turnovers that game? Ah, oh, that's a foul. Are we ever going to finish the story? Get him, Quran. What are you doing? And get your man, bro. All right, Booch. Let's, let's do it. I trust you. I trust you, Booch. There we go, Booch. All right, we continue the story. All right, so as I was saying, so one day I brought in my Spider-Man toy. And I didn't know too much about Spider-Man at the time. But I knew that he was popular. So I brought him in to ensure that the bully wouldn't bother me. And luckily, luckily the, bu the bully was a fan of Spider-Man too. And we bonded over pl playing with the Spider-Man toy. Which is pretty funny, but you know. And he... He made a promise, like, we made a pact together that if I kept bringing my Spider-Man toys to school, he would stop bothering me. So I kept bringing my Spider-Man toy to school. And he stopped bullying me. But had, had I not known about Spider-Man and became a fan of Spider-Man, maybe I would have still got bullied. But that's what you that's what you gotta do, bro. Like you have to make connections with people in order to uh get people to stop taking advantage of you. Cause if you don't make connections, like people are just gonna think you're not human and they're just gonna walk all over you. Alright, nice steal by me, but uh we gotta get some points off of this. Here we go. Nice good. Screen Gilmore, but you didn't shoot it. Of course, and Pippen to shoot that trash. All right, what is Zach Levine doing? Oh my gosh. He's not, he's not scoring on me. There we go. Great defense, Rose. Pass it to me. Cut in and you're pretty much clamped up, bro. As soon as you turn that corner, he's going to foul you. He's going to rough you up. I have an open lane. That's easy twos. I don't think they're ever going to fall for my phone pick, bro. Oh, why'd you go for a layup, Rose? I don't think they're gonna fall for the pump fake, especially when like my my ratings are not gonna go up since this is unsung hero and I create a star or ghost status series. I'm I'm locked in at 94, so that ooh, that looked like classic Derrick Rose right there. That half step was high, bro. Right, I'm 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 about ready for Coach to sit me out because my energy is almost out of here. Oh, we're up by 10. Wow. Go. Nice, Pippin. See, I told you Pippin should be playing against the power forward. Now they got him playing against Porzingis. As I get blocked, and I get out of the game. I'm not going to lie, that was a struggling second quarter. That, that second quarter was a struggle. I still got managed to get 16 more points in that quarter, but that was a struggle quarter. My shooting was not that good. First basket of the game. I was like the third or fourth basket of the game. First basket from, second basket from them, I'm pretty sure. That was my first assist to Pippen. And I don't remember the rest. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. We're shooting 52%. Oh wait, no, I scored 18. Man, I scored, managed to score 18 in that struggling second quarter, bro. That's wild. Cause I started off the first quarter with 
10 points. So I hit 18 in the second quarter. And now they're talking about me. All right, I got some of my stamina back, so that's good, but it's not all of it. Jordan from mid-range, we got that. Uh, He's shooting like he got Claymore, bro. You were not doing that back in your day, and so don't even try. Don't even try and make me believe that, bro. I don't believe it. You know what they say? No footage, no proof. <laughs> Kyle Kuzma with the foul, and he hit both free throws. Matter of fact, I think that's how I got most of my 18 points, bro. I was at the free throw line. I was living at the free throw line. Oh, that would have been stolen if he passed it over my way. You know Derrick Rose being that pa those passing lanes, bro. He's like LeBron in playoff time. Now, if I had, like, uh... If I had uh, permission from NBA to show NBA footage, I would show you what I mean when, when LeBron is guarding during playoff time. He, he's in those passing lanes like crazy, bro. No, pull the chair. Pull the chair method. Yeah, now shoot. Oh, damn it. Man, I thought that would work, bro. The pull the chair method always works, bro. I don't care what nobody says. My 90s NBA basketball fans know the pull the chair method always works. <laughs> Just act Rick Mahorn. Nice dunk by Derrick Rose right there. I should have let him work. Woo! We got to replay that, baby. Yo, look at that. Oh, we completely annihilated Unsell, bro. The only thing... That would have made that dunk look even better if he fell on the floor, bro. Oh my gosh. That almost looked like Michael Jordan's dunk, bro. His go -go dunk. Oh my goodness. Get out of the key, bro. Get out of the key. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. I called you for a screen. All you got to do is move up. Out of the key. That was to get you out of the key. He's just moving into him, bro. Like, computers are so stupid sometimes, bro. Y'all ain't got no brain cells. Us. Oh! <laughs> Look at that. Uh -huh. Back in the game. Up by nine. Fourth quarter. So... You know what that means? Since we're only up by nine, they're definitely going to get a, a hundred or more this game. I was trying to keep them under a hundred, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Keep him at bay. There we go. Oh. Bro, you left Unsell right there, bro. You're right by him and you went to get my guy. Nice dump by Rose. I'm surprised that Unsell didn't miss that, bro. Like, I bro should have made that shot. And just like that, I look up at my stats and I got 42, bro. It's like I blink an eye and I score 42. It's like, so ridiculous sometimes. Oh, by myself, you know I go reverse. <laughs> Let's go. Who I asked if you guys would want me to do an Unsung Hero series with. Nice dunk by Derrick Rose again. But, like, before I decided to do Derrick Rose, I asked about DeMello Lewis, and nobody really cared because nobody knew who he was. So I got to – I'm going to be doing a backstory on him and, like, getting into all the stuff about him so people could get to know him a little bit more. Oh, no. He just bricked it. But yeah, so basically, I, I was guarding at Gilbert Arena as that game with Jamela Lewis. So I basically know all his strengths. I know his weaknesses. I know how to defend him. And that was like basically my crash course. I did that offline, though. It was not an online game that I did. So I basically practiced against him, if you could say. That was my practice tour, and this is my, my actual tour.
Oh. Jordan set me up. <laughs> he set me up to get blocked, bro. That's not nice. You know you you knew you were you were doing Jordan. You knew what you were doing, bro. That's a brick. All right, let's go. Keep going. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, oh boy! I should have took that. Oh, that could have been my pull-up jumper for the game, bro. Ice pass, Jordan. So having such little stamina before hasn't come back to bite me. Love to see it. All right, Gilbert, what you about to do? Man. He got me. I tried to gamble on the steal, and I forgot about my man. Surprised how long it took him to get near 100, bro. Y'all are only at 92. The fourth quarter started. Oh, damn. Oh, no. I wanted to I drive. I don't know why he shot it. There we go. I mean, I wanted to get a dribble pull up this game, but not that close to the damn basket, bro. Like, you gotta just throw it up there. All right, so uh, we're still up 20. I think we were up 20 before I left. I can't wait to see what Derrick Rose comes up with stats-wise when we start simulating. We're not, we're going to be playing a few games before we start simulating. It's going to be a good amount of games before we start simulating. At least trying to get like at least 10 wins or something like that. 60. Wow, I'm shooting better in the second half. They said 13 for 19. Wow. All right, Gilbert. That's going to be a last bucket of the game. I'm going to lock that butt up. Oh. Um, who's my being straight up disrespectful up in here? That foul. I like you, Kuzma, but don't be don't be attacking my man D-Rose like that, bro. Don't be doing that. 2.3 seconds, coach. What am I going to do with 2.3 seconds, bro? There's no way I'm getting a dime off of that. <laughs> yeah, whatever. We won by 21. 21. Let's see what DeMar DeRozan has to say about the win. What's the state of mind about this club? He's asking. Focus in on defense, he says. So that we can score whenever we want. I agree. We are focused on defense. And now, that's going to do it for this game. As per usual, I'm upgrading uh, Alonzo Ball, as I said in the beginning of last game. So, based on my stats, I got to see what my stats are this game. So, wow, I had 62 points and no turnovers. So, I get every single upgrade. Look at Artis Gilmore, bro. 16 and 23, bro. Who you know nowadays could pull that up? Okay, maybe Jokic. Maybe Jokic or Embiid. Probably Jokic, because, like, Jokic be getting them boards, and he don't be scoring that many points. So, 16 to 23, he probably could do. I would like for you guys to give me some challenges. Do you want me to do, like, some challenges? Like, do you want me to s score more? Do you want me to assist more? Like, have, have an all-assist game? Do you want me to just do a scoring game where I can't get an assist to player? I want a challenge. This is not challenging. I mean, you can clearly see I'm not getting challenged. I mean, yeah, I shot 24 for 40, but that's um, divided by 8. Divided by 8. That's 60%. I'm shooting 60% from the field. So, 
obviously I'm not getting challenged. If I'm shooting 60% from the field and nearly perfect at the free throw line. So I need some challenges. That's what I'm looking for from you guys. But um, as I say that, we go look at the upgrades. We get one for 20 points, one for 30 points, two for 40 points. So that's four already. We get three for 50 points and then four or 60. So that's 11 attribute points. And badges, we get two, five, and nine. So 11 and nine. So that's going to be applied to Alonzo Ball. Where is he? Wow, he had one minute. He, he has no, he played one minute and has no stats to show for it. Well, that's about to change around because we're about to make him OP. He's still only at 82 overall, but we're about to make his inside scoring a little bit better because I feel like rookie Lonzo Ball was, was not a bad finisher. So trying to make him close to at least where he was a rookie. So we're going to upgrade his drive layup. His close shot will upgrade in a bit, but... It's close shot will uh, driving layup will do to an 86, so that's seven. So we got four more, and we're gonna put it on ball handle. And as for badges, we're gonna give him acrobat, Hall of Fame, slippery gold, and um, I just saw it. Where is it? I passed it again. Rayless finisher silver, so that's not, that should be nine badges right there. Now let's see what he rises up to. At least be at 80, 83. Yeah, he's at 83. His inside scoring is a C plus now. His mid range is still a D plus. Uh, three pointer is still A plus. Inside defense is C plus. Perimeter is A plus. Playmaking is A. Um, rebounding is a C plus, B plus physicals. Next thing we're going to focus on, I think he doesn't have, uh, playmaking. Let's see it real quick. Yeah, his hyper drive is only at a bronze. So we're going to try and bring up his hyper drive and we're going to give handles for days for him as well. And we're going to both work on getting that Hall of Fame so that he's good with the ball. And, Work on, work on getting him unpluckable as well. So possibly unpluckable, so possibly unpluckable. We're work on getting him unpluckable and, uh, hyperdrive and handles for days. We can get hyperdrive on gold and handles for days on Hall of Fame and then a silver, um, unpluckable. We'll do that. And then as your finisher, we're trying to get his solidary finisher up and his uh, fearless finisher up. And then we could work on getting catch and shoot. Shooting is the last thing I should, I'm worried about raising up for him because he already got blinders gold. So he should already be somewhat of a deadly shooter. And um, once we get catch and shoot up, because catch and shoot is probably the most OP badge this year. I've, d I've done a lot of shooting and it's like, People can't shoot unless they have catch and shoot, which is so ridiculous, but it's, it's the part of the game that you go through. All right, so the next game is against the Cavs. Um, I'm not sure if I want to play this game against the Cavs. I probably won't. I'll probably do it off the books because they don't really have that many good players on the Cavs. Next game we'll play is against the Celtics. So um, we're going to be doing this Cavs game off the books and then we'll face the Celtics, all right? Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been your man, Real Michael Rose. Health and prosperity. Peace and tranquility. Just remember those four things and everything will be splendid. And also remember to be a catch and not a follower. Plus, be patient, stay focused. And I'll catch you later. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. She want me to lock it down, but I told her to pass the key. You gotta slow it down, girl, you moving too fast for me.
Nobody did it like this, so they wanted, they asking me. 